Yo Ogwan, hope you're having a great day. Bad news is, if you don't watch this video, you're gonna be stuck wondering why your 808 patterns feel off, why they don't hit how you want, and why all your beats feel slow and messy. But good news is, by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to create fire 808 patterns for your trap beats fast. But before we chop the head off a demon while flowing like water, I've got a question for you. That question is, what are the best notes to use for your 808 pattern? Leave your answer down below. If you don't know, don't worry because I'll be revealing the answer later run in this video just stay tuned now let's get into it so i'm gonna have an example melody in the background let's go to the song first thing we want to do when creating our 808 pattern is to set the snap to half beat next thing we want to do is create our basic 808 pattern and generally to do this you want to move in threes so threes like so this is a three as you can see one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and we can move this all the way there and then we can have, have another one like so and go in threes again, okay? So let's listen quickly to what this sounds like. Well, we'll need to bring this up and hold octave. There we go. Another octave. Okay, basic 808 pattern. Now we're gonna go through the entire pattern and show you exactly how to set up your basic eight weight pattern. But before we do that, if you want to learn how to create your own trap beats from scratch, you can use my easy nine step trap beat making formula in my free course. All you need to do is click the link in the description down below or go to jcarteray.com forward slash free trap course. This free course will take you from creating your melody all the way to mastering your beat and it's absolutely free so you've got nothing to lose except for the opportunity to join this course while it's still free and available because it won't be free and available forever so join now while you still can link down below so let's get back into this okay next thing you want to do is create your basic 808 pattern also i will have a free basic 808 pattern midi that you can download link down below go to jcarteray.com forward slash basic 808 once you use that you can basically just bring that midi in and then change the notes to where they need to be but this is what you want to do okay this is your basic 808 pattern and then if we copy this over this is your complete basic 808 pattern let's play it back and then we can copy it over again but we're not going to do that because i'm going to show you what we need to do next okay so the first thing you want to do is create your basic 808 pattern and then you want to start removing certain hits. So for example, like this. Okay, stuff like that. You can remove more hits. The more hits you move, the more impact your 808 pattern will have. So we could remove a whole hit here. And that will actually give those 808 hits a whole lot more impact because it's not going on all the time. Next thing we wanna do is we wanna actually pick the right notes. In order to do this, you just wanna follow the bass notes from your main melody notes so from the chords that you've already got your root notes you want to follow those so let's go back up to five you generally don't want to be under five like this it's going to be kind of hard to hear and when you have something like this what i would suggest to do if it's hard to hear it is you want to add our base now i will leave a link to our base in the description down below because it's just such a great plugin especially for 808s i think every track producer should have our base but it will bring out your base dramatically so let's just add our base we're not even going to do anything to it and it's already going to boost our 808 wildly okay so we got our bass going on here and let's hear what this sounds like with doing nothing but using that basic 808 pattern and then adding or removing certain parts and moving our notes to where our bass notes are in our main chord progression, okay? So let's listen to this. And when we've got a one hit like this, I would like to bring it over like so, so it's in three beats. 
but we could also just do two beats so that it ends on where the clap would be. So if we add the clap, this is what it would sound like. And we can add some hi-hats as well. And that's a really, really easy way to start creating your 808 pattern. Now, there are some other tricks that you can use. Remember I said you can add different things. For example, if we add a hit here, it's going to make this sound a little bit faster. So stuff like that. You can do stuff like, you know, we can move this up an octave and it will give us something. But I generally wouldn't do something like that in the beginning of something. Maybe I'd do it like hair. But even that doesn't sound very right to me. But you could mess around and, you know, do little chops with the shift on the right hand side and the left click to chop up the beat like that and then move it up an octave and see what happens. You can do 808 slides. I do have a video on a guide to 808 slides. So go and check that out and that will teach you how to do different things with your 808 stuff. But these are the basics, yeah? I don't wanna get too deep. I'll make an advanced video if you want me to, just leave a comment down below and tell me, yo, we want that advanced video so that we can learn even more about how to make better 808 patterns. And I'll do that. Remember, the basic 808 pattern MIDI will be in the description down below. It will just have everything set up in third so that you can start taking away stuff and adding stuff and you have the basic thing to start from and you don't have to do it yourself every time. It's what really helped me out and helped me get better at making these because I will just bring that MIDI in and then change stuff and then continue doing that to the point that now it's second nature and it's super easy for me to create these 808 patterns. So make sure to download that in the description down below. And earlier on, I asked you a question and I'm a man of my word, so let me answer that like I told you I would. That question was, what are the best notes to use for your 808 pattern? And as you can see in this video, I've already answered those. But if you have forgotten, then let's show you one more time. The best notes used for your 808 pattern are the bass notes or the root notes of your chords. So for example, that would be the chords of your main melody. For example, this is our main melody. These are the bass notes or the root notes of our chords. Then the next thing you can do is if you're making your 808 in the same pattern as your melody, you just go to that 808, you look at where the bass notes are and you place your 808 notes there. If you're making it in a different pattern, you can always copy your notes paste in your 808 and then get rid of all the top notes and then set up as you want to set up. So if we was going to use our thirds, this is how it would be. And then we'd move that over, we'd have that there. And then we'd continue doing the same, move that over, chop there, like so. And then of course you wanna bring it up, you want it to be in a fifth octave. Bob's your uncle, very, very easy. If you got any questions or any other tutorials you want me to make, please let me know in the comment section down below. Check out that video next and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.